Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of season 1 of Salt of Code Black. I don't know what in the world is going on. I, all I know is, originally I just had to watch Pretty Derby and Beastars, and then I I check my, um, my comments, and I get a comment saying that episodes three and four of code black is out i'm like what the freak is coming on like code black comes out on wednesdays thursdays why is this coming out i, I don't know i'm guessing they want to get the erection episode out asap but because since the erection episode is the last episode that i really read about i don't know what to expect for episode four but honestly i cannot wait to see what the heck is gonna happen but other than that it's gonna get started with episode three and three two one go This is so weird to be watching this on a Monday. Like, <laughs> and y'all ain't get this until Tuesday. <laughs> hmm? Crazy, death defying. That too, but I mean, oh god, I, I can't even imagine. Like, <laughs> what else could happen in this dark humor of a show? But like, <laughs> oh god. This episode it probably is. It might be my favorite because when I read this chapter, I I could not stop laughing. I was on Twitter like, what? <laughs> we haven't even gotten into the episode and I can't stop laughing about it because this, this ish was just hilarious to like read and to see this animated, it's going to be so hilarious. But you have to. At least he's giving you something. God damn, even the locker room is dirty as hell.
And then it expands. Well, hell, it's different for us girls, but, you know, kind of wish that they did an opposite on that, too, because as much as I'm also interested in this, I mean, because it's smart to know. It's a really good thing. I just know, you know, wouldn't be showing this to little kids. <laughs> the little kids can watch the original songs at work, which is adorable. <gasps> Oh, uh, uh. what was that for? Fuckers. Yeah, but you kite. Oh, screw you, ass. Oh. God, yes, please kill him. Or just scare the crap out of him. Oh, you scared. Oh. Yeah, you probably did shit your pants, didn't you? Asshole. <laughs> She's just doing her job. We're sleeping. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then a baby's form. And then it comes out of us like hot lava, even though I haven't had a kid yet. But.
You're basically the only hope. Of course you are. <laughs> Well, dang! And then I won't be able to ejaculate. <laughs> mm, yep, he's getting soft. No. Mm -hmm.
Going back up. Uh, grab Not yet, but it's almost time. Mm-hmm. That he can't just do it by himself. That he, of course, needs Viagra, but... And there they go.
<laughs> Good job, guys. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm Yeah, they're probably on like a towel something. No, not really. It just happens. It is what it is. Sorry, Red. Some what? What? Well, okay, we'll find out because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I stopped reading after this because I got too busy. But seeing this, it was just as good as the chapters. It's like, oh my god, because at first I was thinking, like, okay, like we're doing it for sexual pleasure, you know, so someone can get pregnant. But then I think the closer I got to the end of the chapter, um, I was like, no, I feel like he's not doing this for, like, to, you know, impregnate a woman. I think he's just doing this, do this, like, you know, because when we all have, like, we need a stress reliever and it's like that, because, yes, girls do it too. It's normal. It happens and such. Um, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> oh, God, it was just as hilarious as I thought it was in the manga, because... <laughs> I, I just remember reading and laughing about that ish for hours, and I was like, bruh, loved it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but the fact is, the f okay, mm, no, I'm going to wait until we see the preview, and then we'll get to be talking about it. Ugh. Okay, so I mean, is it because of the fact is the guy took the Viagra and whatever was in the Viagra, you know, whatever that thing is or something? I mean, you know, it's okay that a guy has to take Viagra, especially when it's later on in life, because I'm guessing the this body is probably maybe like a forty year old or maybe. 50 year old I don't know when because I'm trying to think of a mindset of a guy right now and such because there has to be a certain time where a point of course where you can't get it up and you need to have like how so you use my hand <laughs> but I, I mean because I'm curious I would like to know and stuff. Cause, I mean, because that's just almost like anyone else wanting to know about it and, and everything. But what you're kind of telling me is because he took the Viagra, he bought something in that ain't good. And that is about to really screw up the white blood cells, possibly even the red blood cells as well. But of course, whatever this thing is, it seems like it's just going to try to attack the white blood cells because, you know, the, the white blood cells are female in this and in the original series, they're all nothing but males, and then the red blood cells are, like, male, female, and stuff, and while in this series, just the red blood cells are just strictly guys and such. I don't know. I mean, because, like, wondering what the heck is going to happen in this next episode. Anything could literally happen, but from that preview, I'm like, oh, okay. 
what the hell? It, <laughs> so, but yeah, this is a really good episode. I enjoyed it. I, like, I think as of right now, this is probably going to be my favorite episode until we get into something. Who knows what else we're going to get into? I would, I wouldn't be surprised if you know, Code Black decided to do a cancer style episode just like the original series. Or something worse than a cancer cell, something else that's also equally as um, life-threatening as cancer, possibly even worse. I don't know what they could do, because like I said, this was the last chapter I read for the manga, so honestly, I have no idea what the heck is going to happen next. So all I have is the preview, and with that preview, I feel like I got nothing, but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four and three... Two, one, go. Mm, I want soda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes sense that I would do a gonorrhea. Damn. Really, honestly, I didn't think we would get an opening for this. I, I was assuming we would just go continue right in, no opening or anything, but okay. Yeah, be safe. Oh, okay. Oh, no, playlist, don't cry! Oh. Oh. We hope, though. I mean, one of them, it seemed like one of them got killed. And, you know, the one that What's Her Face was holding, she's injured. Getting some badass bitches.
Come here. Oof. Hello, little puppy. What you crying about? Oh, it's already multiplied. Wait, Cody. And you don't want to lose anyone else. Mm -hmm. Ah, of course. Don't be, it'll be okay. Oh, but he did, and that's his fault. You need it. Well, can you even go to the hospital for gonorrhea? That's it. I would like to ask my lovely CNA mother, but you know, mmm. Because I don't think the doctors can give you maybe a shot, but. If it was like a ST, mm, it technically is an STD, but so yeah, I don't think they can help you with that. Mm -mm. I mean, hell, if it was syphilis, it's probably much worse. I mean, gonorrhea is bad, but like, who? Heck, now he probably gave it to somebody else. Yeah, that's all they can do. Yeah, but at least they're trying their best. They have to regroup. Heck yeah, because some of y'all or all of y'all might die.
Well, that's messed up. <laughs> but they're trying. Don't be an ass. that my thing is why is the captain the only one that gets to dual wield like shouldn't everybody be able to dual wield I'm just saying Exactly. You can't even go to the doctors for that ish. This body is screwed. This is a death fight. Exactly. Cause I bet you if this mother effer went to the doctor and said, hey, you know, I don't feel so good. Oh, you got gonorrhea. Yeah, you can't do anything for that, bro. I'm sorry. Exactly. It was the right thing to do. Yes, you have to. There's no other choice. He's become a man. <laughs> also because of the fact is he has a crush on white blood cell, but you know, hi. Oh. I don't think that was come, but... Oh my god! Yeah, it is bus. They're all dead. Oh. 
Oh. So, of course, they gotta step in now. Delivering oxygen? Mm. So then my thing is, why doesn't Microfudge go up there with them? Do we have to bite them? Oh my god! No, keep going.
Tinha, né? Did not go in there? Okay, thank God. Is the captain there? Yeah. No, don't cry. She was admirable until the end. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see y'all do something then, because they've been doing the work since episode one. What the heck have y'all been doing? Sitting on your behinds the whole entire time, and now finally on four episodes in, you finally want to do something? Kiss my butt. <laughs> but rest in peace, Captain, and all the other white blood cells. I honestly had a little bit of hope that the Captain would have survived. And that anyone else who stayed with her would have survived as well. But it's to a minimum. You never know what the hell is going to happen. This is a... Both episodes were interesting, honestly. I mean, of course, reading the previous episode. And not knowing what the heck was going to happen in this episode. And learning what happened and stuff. Yeah, I enjoyed it for what it was. It's good. Really, really good. Very informative. Very, like... I had... I think from what I remembered... I thought that you couldn't even treat gonorrhea, but yeah, you can! But yeah, there are some, you know, SCDs that, you know, you can't treat and that will be with you for the rest of your life. And that's why it's important to get tested no matter what. Don't lie to your significant other and say that, yeah, you've gotten tested. Always get tested. Because you never know what the hell is going to happen because you know when you are sleeping with that person, you are also sleeping with... Everybody else they've also slept with, and you don't know who else, like what diseases or anything are inside of the person. So please go get tested. Oh, well, the, the hair loss thing makes sense because of stress, um, overwork, and delirium. Is that the last word? Delirium? Um, okay, yeah. So, stress. <laughs> Nothing but stress. But yeah, this is a very informative episode because there were certain things that I didn't even know and I got to learn new things. I mean, it, it's smart because, yes, if you don't know anything, it's okay to ask questions and stuff like that, whether it's um, sex health related questions or really anything because it's good to know certain things. Yes, the fact is, of course, also being tested and everything because you don't know um, anything that they hold. So, you know, whoever with you, whoever you're with, whether it's a guy, girl, whoever, just always be informative and make sure that you do ask them, like, have you gotten tested? If so, what do you, um, are you positive to anything? Are you negative to anything? And then, yeah, unless you get married, you know, always use a condom, please, you know. I'm just saying. But yeah, this is a very... Both episodes were just really good, and I enjoyed them for what they were. There were some funny moments. There was some 
what the heck moments, but still, both episodes were really, really good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Cells at Work Code Black. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys. Okay, now here's the thing with this because of the fact is that they released episodes three and four together today on Monday. Something tells me we may possibly get another episode on, I think, Thursday. Because, you know, because for us in, on the West, it airs with Funimation. It airs on Thursdays. And then Japan airs on Saturdays for this show and Salzburg Season 2. So, honestly, I don't really know. If there is another episode on Thursday, which would be Episode 5, then that will be the next time I will see you guys. If not, um... Maybe either possibly next Monday or the following Thursday, possibly. I don't really know. I mean, because it was out of the blue that they decided to release three and four out of nowhere. And I'm like still kind of wondering why. Just maybe to go ahead and get these two episodes out of the way. I don't know if they'll release the next two episodes in bulk as well. But honestly, we just got to wait and see. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.